part two another episode of project rai and i've got to say wasn't that a beautiful opening from the top of the mountain where the cable car is looking down on the small village yep small village that we made wasn't it beautiful <laughs> all right anyways less about that because i could talk about it all day let's talk about the episode shall we and you're in for quite a treat in this one i had a lot of fun making this episode now that's not to say i didn't have fun making my other episodes because i did i, I love my other episodes but it was nice to build something that wasn't just houses, farmland, and all that type of stuff. It was nice to just do something totally different. And that's what we've got in this episode. We've got a cable car being built, a small train station, nothing too fancy, just a small one. And then we have this landslide. That's right. Uh, I The idea of it just came from... I don't know, actually. I don't know what I was doing at the time when I thought about it, but I I wasn't sure what I was going to do 100% for this episode because I didn't want to do, like, a 15, 20-minute episode of just building the cable car, and that was it. And I didn't want to do the whole mountainside, the cable car and the hot springs in one episode because i felt like that was just way too much for one episode because i want to show as much as i can when i get to the hot springs because i've been speaking about it for a while and i think it'd be really cool so i wanted there to be a little bit more meat to this episode and i just had the idea of well you know we've got the road going up the mountain what could i possibly do and then i figured well in japan they have a lot of roads that are close to the mountain's edge. They're very small and narrow, very dangerous. And they do have a couple of landslides there that happen. And I figured, why don't I just throw one in on, on this episode? I think it'd look really cool. And if I can get it to look right, then yeah, we'll do it. And I think it ended up turning out really good. It was kind of a bit frustrating and difficult to try and think of how I was going to do certain things because, as we all know, the roads are networks. They're not props or anything like that. So I wasn't sure how I was even going to build the road that was sticking out of the dirt. And then I had the idea of, well, I make fake roads pretty much anyways. Whenever I make car parks, it's basically just the same thing. You know, I put a plottable asphalt down and then I just put some decals on it to make it look like, you know, a car park or part of a road that's not actually a road. And then that was when I had the idea for this. You know, I'll, I'll use the drain as kind of it looking like the thick concrete that's underneath the road. And then we'll put the plottable on top and then decal it from there. But it ended up being a little bit more difficult than that because, as you can see, I, I didn't want it to be flat and just sticking out. I wanted it to be on an angle. And it was kind of difficult to set up because, as you can see, some of them are lower, some of them are higher. It was just an overall nightmare. But it's not too bad because once I've made one of these, it's as simple as just off-camera you know, tinkering with two or three more of them and then moving them in, into position. You know, I've already got like a template made, which is this first one. And then you're going to see when I add in the other ones later. But before I talk about that, I've been asked in the past how I do my decals and how I make them all at different heights and stuff like that and how they don't overshadow each other and render over each other. And as you can see right there with the white line, it was over popping the top part. Um, it was going over on the dirt. And I, I, did, I didn't want that. So I just turned it into the PO and I just changed the height of it. And, and that's basically all I do. There's, there's some where, you know, I, I can just make them like I'm doing now and I'm just moving them to, into position because I didn't want the dirt to fully dominate 
the fake roads i wanted to still be able to put detail on them so you could tell that it was actually a road with only a little bit of dirt on them and it's just sticking through and yeah th that's basically how i did it i just made them po made tinkered with their height a little bit and yeah that's it <laughs> so there you go now there are going to be parts in the episode where i throw down some trees and whatnot like i'm doing now but there's not going to be a great deal of it because I, I don't know. I, I personally don't find um, placing down loads of trees and stuff like that kind of super interesting to watch unless it's like detailing up an area and whatnot. And I figured just watching me copy and paste trees in wouldn't be kind of interesting for people to see. So yeah, there's not going to be a lot of that. I just wanted to focus on the interesting stuff. And speaking of interesting stuff, this is actually an idea my friend had whilst i was building this and i was talking to him and he said to me well why don't you put some trees going down the mountain as well with the landslide and i said oh i don't think i can do that because you know he, he, he doesn't play the game he, he doesn't know like the limitations of the engine and whatnot but he had a really good idea you know i i've totally forgot that i've got these trees as props and trees so obviously with them being props, I can make them PO and I can change them, do what I want with them. So him saying, well, why don't you do some that look like they've come down the mountain side as well? Because without that, I would have probably have never have put these in. So props to him for um, mentioning this. And there's also going to be some cool stuff that we're going to be adding to this area as well. I'm going to be adding in some police, some firefighters some work teams just to make it look like it's like a search and rescue that's going on and i also found these really cool people on the workshop that were like crawling so i've a little bit later on um i'll be adding in the people into the car to make it look like they're crawling through the window because the car's on fire um you know me anywhere that i can put a car on fire or something damaged <laughs> i've just got to do it i just can't help myself I don't know what's wrong with me. I just think it looks really cool. <laughs> now, th this bus was... I, I don't know what I was thinking when I was adding in the bus because... I don't know. I just felt like th there was something else that needed to have come down the mountain as well. So I decided, hey, why not just throw a bus in while we're at it? Now, we have got the cable car later on which i am going to be talking during that part as well okay so what i'm going to do at this point is i'm going to be talking to you all a little bit later on if you stick around for it when we get around to the cable car just going to talk about a few things some ideas that i had um and some other stuff so if you want to stick around for that i will see you in the next part
Okay, so I'm back, and I was just thinking while I was gone that this is actually our last episode of the year until next year. Um, I can't believe it took me this long to even realize that, but yeah, this is our last episode of this year, and I'm actually kind of glad that we've, um, we're going to end this um, year on kind of a cool episode in a way. You know, we've built something totally different, and, and we're topping off the the mountain which is great and then the start of next year is going to be the hot springs episode so how cool is that going to be it's sucks a little bit i couldn't get it out um sooner but like i said i i feel the hot springs needs its very own episode because i really do want to build some cool stuff um and different to what might be out there if there even is any hot springs out there but anyways, let's crack on with the the cable car, shall we? Now, I built two or three of these off camera just to try and get my head around how it was even going to work because I wanted it to work. And as you can see, it says there's no road access, but it works. And I've tested this by placing down about 100 houses at the top of the mountain. And people actually used the cable car, which was kind of cool. They would walk up, get on, go down, and vice versa. So it does work. So I'm happy about that because I, I definitely wanted it working. My other concern, well, not my other concern, but like what I said, I'd built two or three of these and it was kind of different versions. I built my very first one. I had the idea of there being a building attached. So you'd get off on these railing sections, walk to the door, go inside, go through the building, and then come out. And every time I looked at it, I just didn't like it. I just, I really didn't like it. So I, I tried to build the second one where... There was no building. It was just like some commercial buildings, some shops. And the more I looked at it, the more I didn't like it. It looked okay, but it just wasn't doing what I was wanting it to do in my head. And then I remembered that I'd said to you all that the one down bottom, I had kind of the same idea as I'd, I'd seen an anime where it was kind of open to the elements and people got on and off. And I tried to use that same type of idea from at the top of the mountain because I figured, well, you just pay when you get to the bottom and you pay at the bottom when you go to the top. And yeah, so that's that's covered how you'd pay to use it. But I, I wanted it fully open and then like some benches where you could sit on and look over. And I really wanted that and it was so difficult to do because... How do I hide this giant white strip with a baby blue pink mark on it? And, oh, I feel like I was losing hair trying to think of how I can hide it. And then, like everything in life, sometimes it's, not, it's usually the most simple answer is the right answer. And my answer for how do I get rid of it was just to put a plottable asphalt over the top of it and then do some pillars that go up to it as if it's like holding it up like it's maybe an external ceiling or something that like is maybe going to get used for summer or whatever. And yeah, that's basically how I um <laughs> how I went about doing it. I went the really I went the really cheap and easy way. Because I, I just couldn't figure out what I was going to do with it. I, I didn't want to put any AC units up there because I thought it, it just looked a little bit silly. So, yeah, we, we just went for just putting some plottable asphalt over the top of it, like I said. Okay, so with there not being too much more to say, because I, I've, I've, kept as, I've kept a lot in while making this cable car, just so you can see how it was fully made, if you ever wanted to make something very similar yourself. I've tried to keep in as much as possible. So yeah, it kind of just says it kind of just speaks for itself in a way. So what I'm gonna do now is 
I'm going to leave you with the rest of the episode. And with it being pretty much round the corner, the new year, I'm going to wish you all a bit early, but better to wish you it now than not at all. So I hope you all have a great New Year's and have a lovely time. And like always, I'll see you all in the next one.